And when President Zuma said that we should immediately look into the issue of the minimum wage, we did so. And as we did so, Mr. Baimani, we did a research by top class professors in our country who told us in their report that there are some 6.6 .6 million people in South Africa who earn on a monthly basis less than 20 rand an hour. And they also said there are people in our country who earn, who are working, working people, given that we've got 16 million people in our country who work, working people earn even 750 rand a month, who earn 1,500 per month. Now, those are truly poverty wages. And the demand has been made throughout history for a living wage in our country. And in collaboration, and listen to this, in collaboration with the unions, with community-based organizations, and indeed with businesses, many of who support your party, the business people who are hard-nosed, focused on profit, finally said, yes, it is important that we should have a national minimum wage because we can no longer, as we signed the Ekuruleni Accord, we can no longer have a situation in our country where people have poverty wages. That was a collective decision, the wisdom of people who applied their minds, and by the way, Many of the business people who are there are people who run businesses, who know what they are doing, who are eking out a living out of running their own businesses. They said, this is precisely what this country needs to do. And remember, we are not the only country in the world that has embraced a minimum wage. Many countries, actually, if you go to the ILO, the International Labor Organization, they will tell you that more and more countries around the world are embracing a national minimum wage. They are embracing it, including developing economies. You look at Brazil, you look at a number of countries in Southeast Asia, and shut up, you stay nasal and listen. You look around the world. I order. want you to shut up. Or, I really order. do want you to honorable shut up. President. Because order. House honorable, order, honorable members continues to make a noise or, and he's not order, Honorable members. Honorable President. Honorable President, will you just take your seat, please? Why are you rising, Honorable Stenason? Uh, House Chairperson, the Honorable President told me to shut up. <laughs> I would like him to answer. But shut up is unparliamentary. And if you're gonna if you're gonna hurl EFF members out for telling him for deliberately leaving the, house, President, the rule must will, apply will to him. Withdraw, he must please. withdraw. I am prepared to withdraw, but I'd like honorable Stearnazen to listen. Because we are order, really, honorable members, order. You know you are touching a very sensitive order, issue. Order honorable members. Now he continues, honorable house chair. To make a noise, which Hon is Honorable President, there is another point of order that I want to take. Yes, Honorable Member. Thank you. Honorable Chairperson, oh. I have been observing that there has been constant interjection by the Honorable Waters and the Honorable Stainhazen. And I'm not surprised that that remark was made because some of the interjections border on the offensive. Thank you. And I on, ask no, you to rule. Honorable, honorable members, please take your no, seats. House Chairperson. No, Honorable Sienna, I have not recognized you. I have not recognized you. Please take your seat. Well, I'm responding. You I'm responding. You respond. No, Thank you. I am responding Point to the honorable. Order. Honorable members, just calm down. Point just, no, no. Honorable, honorable Chauke, yes. if you read the rules, you will see that when I deal with a certain point of order, you cannot raise immediately a point of order. I've heard what the honorable member have said, and may, may, we, may we just, because we want to conclude this, 
session in a way that allows the president to be able to respond to these points of, uh, to the different questions and to, when there's points of order, to deal with it. But let's not do it in a way that can potentially derail the business of the House. I will appeal from all members in the House that we allow the president to respond. The president has withdrawn the remark. And I want to continue. Honorable members, honorable members, honorable members, just calm down. Calm down. I'm not, honorable member, I'm not, I'm not in dialogue with you, honorable member. I've made a ruling, the Honorable President has withdrawn. Honorable Stianason, why do you want to be heard again? Deputy Speaker, the President, if you examine the Hansard, did not withdraw. He said he would be prepared to withdraw and then went on to a conditional uh, rant. No, thank He's you, the Honorable, Honorable Stianason. You know, your when you're President, you need to remain calm. Honorable Stianason, This please. is not the NEC, this is Parliament. Honorable Stianason, please take your seat. And I want the Honourable President <laughs> order. I want the Honourable President now to continue. Honourable President. Honourable Sian Hazen. I'm being very, I'm being very calm, Honourable Sian Hazen. I think you should listen. We are discussing a very serious matter that has to do with the lives of poor people. And it is your continued interjection, which included your talking nonsense, which included other expletives, that I responded in the way that I did. Because your leader has asked a question, which I'm seeking to, to respond to. And to the extent, and I did say, shut up, and I've withdrawn that. And uh, possibly I should have said, Mr. Cian Hazen, please keep quiet while I talk. So in future, Mr. Cian Hazen, and I'm saying it very calmly, please keep quiet. I'm talking. <laughs> so honorable, honorable House Chair. Order, honorable members. What, has, what I was elucidating Honourable Sian Hazen, why are you rising now? Yeah, I'd like to address you in terms of Rule 85, if I may. Yes, Honourable Member. The President said that I'd used expletives against him. This is casting a deep aspersion on me, and I would ask him to please clarify what expletives no. I used, otherwise he must withdraw or bring a substantive motion. No, Honourable motion. Member, no. Honourable Sian Hazen, take your seat now, House please. House Chairperson, the President accused please me take your seat. of using expletives. I've please, never used an expletive please against take the your Honourable seat, Honourable Member. And he needs to toughen up. Honourable this Sian is not the Aysen, MTN board or the, the NEC. Last time, it's Parliament. It's a robust seat. environment. And he should learn to... Honourable Member, take your seat. Honourable Members, I've made an appeal to, to both sides of the House that okay. we allow to engage each other in a respectful oh, manner. And please, let's do so. Or honourable members. Yes, honourable member. Uh, you, you know, Chairperson, the Bona President. That's why I belong to Kuruba Nawa Ganji. The Bani is the only one who knows how to chat. That's why I belong to Kuruba Nawa Ganji. Sanuel, the Sacha Rumsa, you all belong to Kuruba Nawa Ganji. Thank you, honourable member. Please take your seat.